In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create three options infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I've added uh, two colors here, two rectangles, one is dark gray and the light gray. And it looks like normal, but when I play, it looks kind of a 3D effect. So let me just show you. When I click, you can see here the first option comes. Option number one, some shadow effect I have added here. And then you can see this kind of a ribbon with a cutout and then it gives a kind of a depth or the shallow effect here all right and then when i click with a different color combination comes the second headline you can add the headline and then comes the third headline so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease these options and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section add a new slide go to view enable the guides then go to insert shapes i'm going to add two rectangles uh, by covering the half of the slide so let me just select the first rectangle here and i'm just going to cover only half of the slide till this line and then go to format shape outline make it no outline and the color i'm going to fill is somewhat dark gray color any gray color you can choose you can see here and then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and bring the other side then for this shape fill i'm going to choose some light color so you can see here i've added two colors uh, the dark gray and the light gray so let me just remove the guides here and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to add three more rectangles go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the height and width all right and then shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can just choose any color of your choice and then i'm just going to align center you can see here something like this so i want to give some uh, perspective look or some hollow look here for that what i'm going to do is go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select the right triangle draw the right triangle you can see here and shape outline make it no outline and then i'm just going to rotate it rotate it i'm just going to make it flip vertical and then i'm just going to make it flip horizontal something like this and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to give some a different gradient fill for that right mouse click go to format shape and then go to the fill i'm going to select the gradient fill here i'm going to use only two stops so let me just delete the two stop one stop i'm going to select i'm going to choose a black color and other stop also i'm going to choose the black color now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select one stop and make it fully transparent all right and then change the direction something like this you can see here and then let me just duplicate this by pressing ctrl d to duplicate and rotate it the other side we can see here and then just put it here so you can see here it got a, a 3d look here something like this and then for this also i can make it somewhat transparent so once this is done i want to give a cutout look here so go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape you can see here this much size could be shape outline no outline shape will make it black increase the transparency level then go to the effects soft edges increase the size all right and then i can just increase the size further here and i'm just going to place it here and press ctrl d to duplicate and place place the other side also and if you want to give more uh, transparent look you can just increase the transparency something like this all right and then i'm going to add one rectangle go to shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle covering half of the uh, this shadow effect shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to choose the color which i've used in the background okay something like this and press ctrl d to duplicate bring the other side and then i'm going to place exactly on top of this and then shape fill i'm going to choose the color which i have used for the background so you can see here it looks something like this and if you want you can just select this and press ctrl g to group it also okay this the cutout effect press ctrl g to group it now the next thing is you can insert the text here so go to insert text box you can add your headline here 
center align make white font or any other font of your choice and then make sure that it is align center and just make it somewhat up and then you can add some detailed text here all right so this one also i'm just going to reduce the size and again this also go to format align center all right so once this is done what you can do is if you want you can just add few more shapes here for example go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rounded corner rectangle draw the rounded corner rectangle shape outline make it no outline shape fill i can choose white then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the right the triangle draw the triangle shape outline no outline shape fill bring it like this and then both of these i can just group it Control g or you can union it also so something and if you want to add some shadow effect you can add the shadow effect and here this Control d i'm just going to duplicate this one i'm going to put the option as the first step let me just reduce the size of the increase the font size here make it the same color which i have used here and i'm just going to sorry let me just put it here something like this you can see here and this two also i can just select and group it Control g now if you want to add some effect or some text or some icons also you can use it now for me it's very easy i'm just going to select this if I want, I can just move it a little bit up. Press Ctrl D to duplicate. Add one here. You can see here. And press Ctrl D one more. So now I'm just going to change this, the color of this, any color of your choice. You can see here. I'm going to give maybe a green. And this would be three. Change the color to this. And this is two and then i'm just going to change the color to blue all right so so simple way you can just make the slide something like this all right and if you want to add some basic animation you can add the animation for that first of all you need to group it so i'm just going to select this and press ctrl g to group it and then make sure that this one the cutout effect it has to be front always all right and then any animation you can just use it for example i can just go to the anim and enable the animation pane add animation i can just go to more entrance effects if i want i can select a peek in stretch or whichever way you want okay so whichever for example if i play it comes something like this and then i can just use this one for the the fade effect here you can see here this also fade effect and this should happen with previous this also should happen with previous but you can just give a little bit or delay here all right so it comes something like let me just play all right so something like this or if you want you can just give the wipe effect or whatever so a, a, a lot of animations you can do it for example i have used uh, you can see here I have used this one which is the fly in and only one trick which I did here is I have just add one more rectangle here you can see here otherwise what happens here if I play not this side let me just undo and let me just remove this one I will show you what exactly I did so you can see here the the green text is or the rectangle is looking from this side okay so to cover this one, I've just used this rectangle here to cover this one. And then if I play now, that won't be visible. You can see here something like this. So it, and, uh, different, different tricks you can apply it to make this slide more uh, useful.